Hey everyone, it's me, Musta from Nuxta TV. Welcome back to Life is Strange episode 4. We are now supposed to get into David's locker. And I kind of remember that in the last episode, episode 3, there was a code we, we used to get into David's laptop, but I, I really can't remember it anymore. And I wonder if that's maybe the same code, but I have no idea what it was anymore. <laughs> Something about the wedding? Oh, I really don't know anymore. Well, let's search around a bit more. I have no idea. Oh. Yeah, we're going to, to be uh, Gordon Freeman. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Hopefully this works. We now Gordon Freeman, so I shouldn't talk anymore. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. We're causing a whole lot of destruction. Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She knows something. Does she? What? I'm not gonna read all of this. <laughs> He saw that too. Okay. Wait to snoop around. Well, I'm doing the same, but... Maybe David just wants to be a photographer too. Score. Back to Chloe now. Hard. I bet it's really hot how I'm munching on my cotton candy. Let's get back to Chloe. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yeah, let's go with Kate. I'm totally in on that. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. It's okay, Chloe, darling. Kate! Dear, how are you? Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. 
You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, she's so kind. Kind person giving her flowers to the others. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Yeah, of course that dick didn't. Where where is Ah oh, there's Victoria's? Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Yeah, as I said, no one was born evil. There's always a reason why people become the way they are. Kate, I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see you smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. XL Vic. Yeah, I hope you stop that thing now, Victoria. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have or organized a rally in your honor and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. Yeah, well, they've never been that way for a, st for a student before in history. Uh, they, uh, they did... Um, did add a whole amount of reasons for her to be here in the first place, so... Oh well. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Bored cat. <laughs> I like that one. Oof. I always get hungry when I see food and games. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. What are you drawing? Weird stuff? Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Yeah, I do. Let's do the other things first. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. 
We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. What do you want with Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. Hmm. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, my date seems weird. Uh, no, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Honestly, fuck idiots with power. Idiots like the Prescott family. Uh, I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. But I don't want her to get in trouble. Should I rewind? I'm really not sure about this. I have to... F I... Really, I don't know if this is a good idea. Let's continue. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's probably got... No, I'm sure she's got personal problems too. Some trouble. There are reasons. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Well, I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Yeah, so... I forgot what I wanted to say. Sorry. God, I'm such a noob. Let's continue. Hello. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Taylor Swift gave her flowers. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Yeah, Victoria needs Jesus in her life. <laughs> No, I'm sure she has her reasons, but I hope she'll get better too. Let's sit around and think. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. Whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time.
Time travel is such a mind fuck. Now this makes me think of Bioshock Infinite where for every choice you don't make um, you made it in another timeline or something, in another parallel universe, shit like that. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. They did. They did. I'm really glad she's okay. She's such a cutie pie. Anything else? We Thanks talk again about? for visiting me, Max. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Is there anything we missed? No, I don't think so. Then let's go. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Let's beat him up! No, we're not going to do this. We're not going down to his level. Ah, uh, Mr. Hipster teacher. Hey, Max. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird being suspended and just walking around campus. Well, you are an adult now. This isn't prison, is it? Not until we get orange jumpsuits. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. No, he even... He even Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. He even called himself a hipster. <laughs> Totally predicted this. No, I didn't, but he just knows what he is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Alright, he was drunk as fuck. Yeah, he's got his issues too. Honestly, who doesn't have issues here? Well, teenagers. I mean, no, we all have our issues. So. Hey, boys. We're doing the usual thing. Good. Keep doing. I'm just gonna look around what I can do. Like okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. Oh my god, rocks! There are rocks on the ground! This is so mysterious. 
One photo. For posterity. Oh yeah, let's see if there's anything new. I couldn't even tell her where I had been or why. It could be one more thing to alienate Chloe from me and the world. I had to get pre-focused on her search for Rachel. Chloe had been busy with her detective work while I was in my art journey 10. Yeah, that's where we stopped. Of course, it was much easier for me to explore David's garage since Joyce booted his ass out. That made Chloe more content than I've just about seen her in since I returned. I still feel kinda bad for David, but he overstepped his authority. Dismissed, and it's so much easier to grab David's X-Files when he's not there. After we gathered our new info like Halloween treats, I love watching Chloe go into Sherlock mode while we exam examine all of our clues on our big old drawing board. Of course, we all know that she's more of a Dr. Watson, right? Elementary. Honestly, with all of the impending doom and sadness, I felt so happy just to find myself back in action with my best friend and her butterfly blue hair. Hell uh, yes. But first things first, I really had to go and see Kate. I've never visited anybody in the hospital before, much less anybody who's tried to commit suicide, so I was happy Chloe wanted to come along for support. The antiseptic smell and the endless white horse always kind of weird me out. Or maybe I'm just projecting my own fear of mortality. When I saw Kate in her room, surrounded by cards, flowers and balloons, all I could think of was when I saw her the last time, on the roof. Her face was so sad and sincere and helpless then, but now she had more life in her than I'd seen in a long time. I had no idea what to say to somebody in a situation like this. How are you? After you almost jumped off a roof. But Kate's gentle spirit made it easy. I was overjoyed to see that she was drawing again and making plans for the future, including plans to get justice for what Nathan Prescott had done to her. Or what I call revenge. Yeah, I just hope she doesn't get in trouble anymore. Like she really doesn't need that shit. I got into lots of trouble myself, but I'd rather get more trouble for myself than have Kate. Yeah. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. To deal with something. Yeah, why is that ironic? I know you like him, but why? Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape it's with like Warren. all the original apes films. Like, what's ironic about him? I feel bad about... About... Um... Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. Yeah, you should have. You don't want to to be sandwiched between them and, you know, uh, sorry I'm talking too much, I should play. Hey Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Sure, really? Should, should say that. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, she's pretty jealous, but I feel bad about making her feel like I take him away from her. Like... Uh, Unrequited it's love. not like I don't own all the original Apes films. Unrequited love is so hurtful, but... You can't force him to love her, so... Talk to you later, Max. That's no! so ironic. I want to talk more. Talk to you. That's so ironic that war... Okay, okay. I want to talk about the, the other things too. Hey Brooke, how are you? I'm here as you- So... I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough. That's so ironic that Warren asked me. What, what just today? happened? I 
can't get my limited brain around that it's eclipse and the beached whales. I'm in the dialogue. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Also, Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. What the fuck is happening? That makes sense. Fuck. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I'm gonna I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I'm going to rewind because I'm not too sure the, if, if that bug messed up the conversation. So I'm going through this Hey, Brooke. Again, How are you? I'm here as usual. Let's talk about the weather, yeah. I, I can't get my limited... War. That's so ironic that war it's happening again. Oh. That makes sense. Can't do we get the Nobel. About it. You are perceptive, Matt. It's not like I don't own all the original What's Apes films. With you? Our jealousy is breaking our conversation. Oh my god. Maybe hey, I should have asked Warren. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Let's make a selfie together. I'm gonna be your partner. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the driving. Um, you're kind of repeating yourself there. Just saying. Where the fuck is the room? It's not like I don't own all the original Apes films. Jesus, it's okay, it's okay. I understand. Can we go in there now? Can't snoop around in there. Anymore. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Oh, Climate yeah. change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Yeah, we should. We should all get along, but that will never happen, I guess. Humanity. Oh, chocolate cookies. But his voice is so creepy. Cause he, he really sounds like some weird stalker. <laughs> if David had his voice, I don't know if I'd still have the same opinion about him. I guess I would, because I'm nervous. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for I think once. I'm nice. <laughs> yeah, you too, my friends. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Yeah, it's nice to see your spirit animals are fine. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Yeah, that would be good. Cool. Get that food in your belly. Hello, Max. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Yeah, no problem. 
Samuel misses his squirrels. But they are right there. They're okay. Two cute little squirrels posing for me. If you insist. Oh yeah, it's totally coincidence. I didn't do the second one here or something. right in the middle of being at the school again so if you want me to make them longer so the story has a bit more progress just comment leave a like anyway if you liked it I would be really happy subscribe to see more and I hope you will join me next time again on our journey to find Ethan Carter, no, to find Rachel Amber <laughs> and clues for everything going on. I'm a bit tired today, so probably wasn't that entertaining besides uh, my cotton candy orgy. <laughs> bring it on home, bro. Yeah, bring it on, bro. Yeah, bring it on, bros. Wait till the game. I hope you join me again next time. I already said that. So. Bye bye, hope you have a nice day, evening, good night, whatever. See you!